the stresses of this season is not going to get us down. Um, we see the chaos around us. Um, I think the most important part is spending time with family and friends and enjoying company, having a meal and uh, relaxing and not being stressed out. <clears throat> and this can be the worst time of year for that. I pray that everybody out there, especially my brethren, will have uh, God's peace this time of year and that their focus will be on him alone through it all. Uh, happy Monday, everybody. Here's Rob here to uh, read the book of Philippians this week. So I'm on chapter two. Um, so we'll get started. If then there is any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any communion of spirit, if any compassion and pity, fill my joy full that you may be mutually disposed, having mutual love, joined in the soul, being disposed to one thing, nothing according with faction, nor yet according with vainglory, but with humility deeming one another superior to oneself, not each noting that which is his own, but each that of others also. For let this disposition be in you, which is in Christ Jesus also, who being inherently in the form of God, deems it not pillaging to be equal with God, nevertheless empties himself, taking the form of a slave, coming to be in the likeness of humanity, that and being found in the fashion as a human, he humbles himself, becoming obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore also God highly exalts him, and graces him with the name that is above every name, that in the name of Jesus every knee should be bowing, celestial, terrestrial, and subterranean, and every tongue should be acclaiming that Jesus Christ is Lord, for the glory of God the Father. So that, my beloved, according as you always obey, not as in my presence only, but how much rather in my absence, with fear and trembling, be carrying your own salvation into effect. For it is God who is operating in you to will as well as to work for the sake of his delight. All be doing without murmuring, murmurings and reasonings, that you may become blameless, blameless and artless children of God, flawless in the midst of a generation crooked and perverse, among whom you are appearing as luminaries in the world, having it on the word of life, for my glorying in the day of Christ, and that I did not run for naught, neither did that I toil for naught. But even if I am a libation on the sacrifice and ministration of your faith, I am rejoicing myself and rejoicing together with you all. Now to be mutual, you also be rejoicing and be rejoicing together with him, with me. Now I am expecting in I am expecting in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy to you quickly, that I also may be of good cheer when I know of your concerns. For I have no one equally sensitive who will be so generally solicitous, solicitous of your concerns. For all are seeking that which is their own, not that which is Christ Jesus. Now you know his testedness that as a child with a father he slays with me for the evangel. This one indeed then I am expecting to send as ever I may be perceiving my course from things about me. Forwith, yet I have confidence in the Lord, that I myself should be also becoming quickly. Now I deem it necessary to send you to Epaphroditus, my brother, and fellow worker and fellow soldier, yet your apostle and minister for my need, since in fact he was longing for you all and depressed. Being because you hear that he is infirm, for he is infirm, also very nigh death. But God is merciful to him, yet not to him only, but to me also, lest I should be having sorrow on sorrow. The more diligently then I send him, that he, seeing him again, you may be rejoicing, and I may be more sorrow free. Receive him then in the Lord with all joy, and have such an honor seeing that because of the work of the Lord he draws near unto death, risking his soul that he should be filled fill up, he should fill up your want and ministration towards me. Now that was chapter two. So that's what I'm going to do this week. I'm going to read uh, the book of, of Philippians all the way through. So read to the end. And like I said, at the end of this week, I think I'm going to take a little break.
over Christmas time. I know it's crazy time, busy time, and that's why I want to take a little break with my family. So blessings to you and grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, and we will see you tomorrow. Happy Monday.